Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see about the interactive rebasing. So, what is this interactive rebasing? In the previous videos, we have already discussed that how to use the rebase concept in the place of merge. So, we have used the merge concept and also the same thing we can use in the place of merge. We can also use the rebase. We have seen this one. How the merge does, does the thing and how the rebase does the thing we have seen. And the rebase along with the rebase so in, in the place of merge also we can use the rebase in another manner also. So what is that one is as we have already discussed that rebase can be also used to combine the multiple commits into a single commit. So if you want to remove some of the commits which are not necessary for you before, re before merging into the master. So you can remove those commits and you can make it as a simple commit single commit. So that one we can that one also rebase also takes player the rebase also take care of that one. So that is nothing but what we can say is it's an interactive rebasing. So now in this video we will try to see about the interactive rebasing. For example, see I will create a project mkdar. So I will create a project something like git rebasing. Okay, so this is the project I am creating. So let's go to the git rebasing project. Let's initialize the project. So I have initialized the project. Now what I will try to do in the master I will try to create home.txt file. Something like home.txt file I will try to create. So now I can I can escape it this one okay so I can add git add dot now git commit hyphen m so now what I can say is home page added or something like this okay so now I have made one single commit in the master now what I can do is here let's go to let's create a branch git checkout hyphen b so now what I will try to create new feature I can create a branch new feature now I want to implement a new feature in the feature branch. Now what I will try to so let's think, think that we are creating a file something like feature.txt. Okay, so this is the logic what we are trying to do. So now I can write something like started working on the feature, new feature, feature new. Okay, so I am committing this one. So now what I will try to do, so here I will write, so git commit hyphen m. So now started working on the new feature okay so this is the commit i am making so now done so after some time i have came here so now again i opened i need to work i i thought of working again on the feature branch so now still working on the new feature okay so just we are still working on the new feature let's think so now i uh, committed so now i will try to commit it again whatever the thing so now what i will try to do so git commit hyphen m so i can write something like work in progress still working on the feature okay so still we are working on the feature so we are not able to uh, uh, complete this feature so still we are working so i committed up to here what i did so i kept this one work in progress now what i will try to do so again i need so i came and again i am working on the feature.txt so uh, fixed fixed some fixed some sorry fixed some logical issues okay so i fixed some logical issues so what i will do so i again i have i will commit these changes what i have did in my branch so still i am working in process fix logic issues or something like this okay so still i have committed now at the end what i will try to do so again i will go to the feature.tx this time i have completed the feature so now what i will read so completed the new feature so now after the four commits are five commits whatever the commits after some couple of commits we have completed the feature now what i will try to do git add so git commit git commit hyphen m what again so completed new feature so now this from by this commit i have completed new feature now let's try to see the log so git log sorry git log hyphen hyphen one line if i try to see here so now from the master i have created a branch so first 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 commit is the started working on the new feature second commit is also still working on the feature so third commit is fixing logical issues and the fourth commit is the completed new feature so these three commits what we have did is for our reference we have kept now i want to merge this feature into a master branch so now i don't want these three commits to be merged into the master so as this one is in the local branch with me only so it is not shared to others so now what i want is i want these all four commits to be included in a single commit so that i can write that implemented new feature 
so and so feature okay so you implemented the new feature so i want to write i want to combine these all four commits into a single commit that nothing but what i write is implemented the new feature so what i can do here so now we can use the interactive rebasing here so what is this interact how we can use this interactive rebasing is so here what i will try to do is so from where i need to from where i need to what i can say i need to combine these all uh, commits i need to decide so from where i need to do from master so we're starting from the master so these four commits i need to merge it so you can take directly git rebase hyphen i is nothing but the interactive or otherwise you can use hyphen hyphen interactive or otherwise you can use like this shorthand you can use hyphen i and you need to give the hash or otherwise the name so now what i can do so master i can take sorry i can take the git rebase rebase hyphen i master i can keep the master or otherwise i can take the hash also so now i am clicking on enter immediately what will happen you will be able to see these are all the four commits at the top so pick 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 so four commits has been came so now the commit will be coming in a different manner that is from least recent to the most recent so most recent is the completed new feature and the least recent is nothing but last one is first one what is committed is started working so now we need to decide which commit we need to take it so now what i can do here so here you will be having some couple of commands you will be able to see some couple of commands so pick revert edit squash fix these all the things are there so now what we can do is so now what we need to do is so here just come to from bottom onwards so now what i need to do so i can write it here yes squash means so what is this one use this commit so that means use this commit but meld it into the previous commit so that means but combine it with the previous commit okay so use this commit but combine with the previous commit it is saying so that means so this commit will be gone and these all the commits whatever the file changes will be there it will be moved into the previous commit now what i want to do so i want to squash this commit also so now if i want to squash this commit means these two com file changes what is there it will be going into the previous commit so now i want to squash this one also so the previous one also okay so now i have squashed these three commits so that the three commit file changes whatever the file changes are there in these three commits will be moved to the started working on the new feature in this commit will be moved so now i can do escape and i can do the save so now it will try to rebase and it will ask me that for that commit so whatever the first commit is there right so what is the commit message you want to write so what i want to write the commit message i want to write is something like new one so what i can do is so i can do the so i can come down i can delete this line okay so i can delete this line and i can also delete this line and i can also delete this line so here i can come and i can write it here so what i will try to do so i can if i want you can change it also implemented new feature okay so now let's save it so just saved it so now detach head and it has been created now if you try to check the so here is the previous uh, before re before making the rebase these are all the commits now if i try to check the git log okay now see so now only one commit is there in this branch implemented the new feature so all the commits will be there and if you try to see the commit the hash code whatever the hash the hash is there so it is a new thing so new commit has been created it has combined all these four file file all these four commits into a new commit okay so this is how we will be using the rebase thing so most commonly how, uh, how, how what is the thing i will be using where where i will be using the rebase is nothing but in these places only so i will be creating so if if i have a, if if, we, if i have assigned a new uh, task or anything new feature or anything so whatever the commits i want to make so each and every single commit i will try to make and after merging it to after making it public this uh, branch thing so what i will try to do is i will try to do the rebasing thing so that i will remove the unnecessary commits what what i have committed for my reference and i will remove these all the things and i will keep some commits only for the public thing so okay so we can remove so these are all is for our reference only working progress still working on the feature fixing logic these are all the things is for our reference what we have did in the step by step daily by daily so at the end of the day we need to implement a new feature so we can give a clean clean implementation of this one okay so this is the interactive rebasing this is the usage of the interactive rebasing hope you understood about the interactive rebasing so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel Thank you.